obviously the fundamental rule here is that the reptile brain is conditioned to favor safety and survival. Therefore, if a plaintiff's counsel can reach, can, can actually reach that portion of a juror's brain, they're going to be able to influence the decisions. They don't want the jury focusing on a plaintiff's injuries. And in the past, for those of us who have been practicing a number of decades, you know, the, the cases used to focus more on a plaintiff's injury, and you would see day in the life of films. Anything to um, elicit sympathy from a, a juror, but now the focus is on a defendant's conduct. The theory basically argues that a juror's not really interested in an individual plaintiff's injury. That if you really want a jury to come back with a high verdict, you've got to show them that you've got to show the jury that the community and they themselves are truly in danger. The theory includes two different types of jurors. The classic plaintiff juror, which is a survival mode juror. Those who are jurors who make safety a priority. They affirm commitment to public safety. They often feel unsafe. You can already see some of the voir dire questions that might be asked to try to determine whether a juror is a survival mode juror. And then there's classic defense jurors. Those are called high road processors that plaintiff attorneys don't want. Those are the analytical, the logical, the independent, um, more of the free thinkers. The shift is definitely now away from the sympathy. In the past, lawyers focused jurors on feeling sorry for the victim, but now it's on the defendant's failure and the juror's role to completely protect. There's less emphasis on the individual and obviously more on the community. The jury has the power to improve the community safety. That's basically what a plaintiff attorney is showing. In essence, the reptile approach suggests to jurors that they need to award the compensatory damages and punish the defendant to deter others. Although several years have passed since Keenan and Ball first introduced this trial strategy, the practices and tactics that they advocate are being used now more and more. To successfully defend these cases, it's important to understand the plaintiff strategy, which is going to be our next presentation. <music>